the votes are in. Appreciate you voting. The catch-up list for 2012 was posted about a month ago. You voted on TV shows that you thought I should catch up on, and the two winners tied, actually, Downton Abbey and Dexter. Those will be the two that I'm catching up on. And in fact, Downton Abbey's only been on a couple seasons, like 15 total episodes. I kind of caught up on it this weekend after the polls closed. So I've seen all that there is to see of Downton Abbey, and I have to tell you, you're right. That's a really good show. I'll tell you what I like about it. I love the dynamics between these characters. This show has an amazing way of painting very real pictures of these characters, even though it's the early 1900s in England, and it's a world that I've never known nor never will know about high society and estates and heirs and upstairs, downstairs, and kitchen help and, and the lord and lady of the house. I don't know any of this stuff that I never will, but this show makes it very accessible and very real, and, lot, and a lot of those dynamics are very powerful, very emotional. In this show, I remember uh, a scene in the first season between a butler and somebody who wasn't used to having a butler and this, this juxtaposition of how he thought it was demeaning to have this person put his cufflinks on, but that was the person's job and so they were feeling put out and there's just a special moment between him where he realizes that he needs to give this man the opportunity to do his job. It's just, it's a really beautiful show and done really, really well. I do have some complaints. I don't think it's as spectacular as many shows that are on TV because I think it's kind of lost itself pretty quickly and I'll be interested to see where it goes from here. Those first three or four episodes of season one are exquisite. I mean, they just are draw you in, tell the stories, have those little emotional touches. And then it starts to descend into kind of some soap opera tactics, you know, some different things that just that I wasn't seeing in the first few episodes that I'm like, oh, I can put up with that because I love these characters, but you don't have to do that. You don't have to have these big, crazy moments. I don't need that. I want the simple moments. That's what I'm watching you for, those simple dynamics between the upstairs and the downstairs, you know, between the help and the lords and ladies. And that's what I want to see in Downton Abbey. And as it continues on, if it can kind of refine that footing, I will be in whole heart, but if it continues to slide towards more of the sensationalistic storylines, it may lose me a little bit.